He was Sonny Black's right-hand man, was believed to have been involved in the killings of 30 men, and in the late 1990s, he tried to sue the makers of the movie Donnie Brasco. Let's check out John Booby Serasani. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today we're going to take a look at the fearsome banana soldier John Booby Serasani. John Serasani was born in 1938. He was described by lawyer David Breitbart as a legendary figure in Knickerbocker Village who used to dive off fire escapes into the East River. He was one of a kind. Booby Serasani was involved of many of the major money-making operations of organised crime, both blue and white collar. He was known to be involved in drug dealing, loan sharking, bank robbery and stock fraud. In one wiretap conversation with undercover FBI agent Joe Pistone, in his alias as Donnie Brasco, Booby claimed to have killed at least 30 people. Pistone met Serasani in 1978, the year after Booby had been acquitted of bank robbery. Agent Pistone described John Booby Serasani as Bonanno Captain Dominic Sonny Black Napolitano's right hand man. Pistone continued. Booby was taller and leaner than Sonny, balding at the temples with a hawk-like face. He was quiet and smart, a chess lover. He was one mean fucker, very close-mouthed, a hard guy to get to know. He was allegedly so close with Sonny Black that he once said that he would cut out his own heart before betraying Napolitano. In 1981, it is alleged that Booby Serasani was part of the cleanup crew after the infamous three captains murders of Phil Philly Lucky Giacconi, Sonny Red in Delicato and Dominic Big Trin Trinquera. The huge Trinquera weighed in excess of 300 pounds and he'd been blasted by a shotgun, allegedly by future Montreal powerhouse Vito Rizzuto, although later Vito would deny ever firing a single shot on the night of these famous murders. Regardless, Big Trin's corpse was a bloody mess. In a recording with Donnie Brasco, Lefty Guns Ruggiero recalled how he struggled to pick up Trinquera's body, but that Booby had no problem at all. I couldn't move him. Booby could. Trin was all cut open and bleeding. There was little pieces lying around from the shotgun blast. Booby got blood all over him, trying to pick him up. I couldn't believe how strong Booby is. He don't look it. I was amazed. Booby could move him. After Donny Brasco was revealed to the Bananos to be FBI agent Joe Pistone, John Booby Serasani can be seen in the famous surveillance photo of Sonny Black contemplating the revelation along with Lefty Ruggiero and Nicky Santoro. Following the Donny Brasco revelation and the subsequent murder of Sonny Black, some reports suggest that Booby slipped into depression, angered that he couldn't avenge his friend's death. Some reports suggest that at this point Serasani took over Sonny Black's old crew and that he was made a captain, but most experts agree that Serasani remained a soldier. In 1982, John Booby Serasani was the only defendant to win an acquittal in a racketeering trial that featured the dramatic debut of Agent Joe Pistone on the witness stand. In 1985, he took a plea deal in Florida on racketeering charges that included bank robbery conspiracy and possession with intent to distribute marijuana, cocaine and heroin. And in 1994, he once again took a plea deal on drug charges and was sentenced to one and a half to three years in prison. But it was in the late 1990s that John Booby Serasani did something that was out of the normal for a wise guy. He tried to sue the makers of the film Donnie Brasco with regards to how his character was portrayed. According to official documents, Serasani maintained that he was defamed in the pre-release and official versions of the film, which depicts him viciously beating a driver during a truck hijacking, brutally beating the maitre d' of a Japanese restaurant, and participating in the gruesome murder of at least one Bonanno family captain. 
he denies committing these acts. The root of Booby's lawsuit started back in 1996, prior to the theatrical release of the film. At a pre-release screening, someone allegedly illegally recorded the film and copies were circulated. In this pre-release version, a character named John Booby Serasani is featured, played by the excellent James Russo. This character is portrayed carrying out the various criminal acts as listed previously. Despite the movie starring Johnny Depp stating in the credits that certain characters depicted in the film are composites or fictional characters and certain scenes are fictional, legal representatives of Booby wrote a letter dated October the 16th, 1996 to the General Counsel for Sony Pictures Entertainment, threatening litigation in the event of the film or even the trailer being released. Around December the 4th, 1996, Banano soldier John Serasani and his legal counsel were invited by TriStar Pictures to watch the then most recent cut of the film. And then on December the 13th, 1996, a letter from TriStar Pictures in-house counsel stated that they rejected Serasani's defamation claim and any notion he had a legal basis to stop the release of the film. They did, however, agree to not use the name John Booby Serasani in the movie. As we see in the final version of the film, James Russo's character has been renamed Paulie. Troisar also agreed to shorten a murder scene that the character based on Booby was involved in. The renamed Paulie character, however, is shown dismembering one murder victim's body with a saw-like knife. Booby Serasani did not stop there, and after the film's release, continued legal proceedings regarding defamation of his character, concerning the criminal activity that the Pauli character was shown carrying out. Serasani sought $50,000 in damages. After months of legal paperwork between the parties involved, on January the 15th, 1998, Federal Manhattan Judge Denny Chin made a ruling on Serasani's lawsuit against the Sony Corporation, TriStar Pictures, and others involved in the making of the film, including Barry Levinson and the movie's director, Mike Newell. Judge Denny Chin ruled that Booby Serasani was libel-proof, essentially saying that a man who had an official list of crimes and convictions for drug dealing, racketeering and bank robbery conspiracy could have no complaints about the defamation of his character. He stated, I hold that Serasani's reputation is so badly tarnished that even assuming the pre-release and official version of the film are defamatory, he can suffer no further harm and hence no reasonable jury could award him any more than nominal damages. In 1999, Booby Serasani was sentenced to 57 months and fined $6,000 for his involvement in a stock fraud scheme. The lead defendant in the case was actually Genovese Captain Rosario Ganji, who received eight years and one month and ordered to pay $150,000 restitution. In early December 2006, John Booby Serasani died of cancer, leaving behind him his wife Nancy, his children and six grandchildren. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.